We're speaking with Dr. Yona Barash, a candidate for Congress, California's 7th Congressional District. Dr. Barash, why do you feel you're qualified to serve the people of that district? Well, the main issue that I'm concerned about is health care in the United States. As a practicing physician for over 35 years, I've seen health care deteriorate and the access to health care has become a real problem. The introduction of Obamacare, which may have been well intended, caused a lot of people to lose their insurance or get access to care that they can use. They do not have access to care under Obamacare in many, many districts, including ours. Uh, the pay for the insurance premiums at this point for some people is higher than their mortgages. They cannot afford it. Their out-of-pocket deductibles are outrageous and they cannot afford it. I have patients canceling actually appointments and surgeries because they cannot afford the deductibles. The majority has switched into Medi-Cal and Medicaid. They do not have good access to health care. A lot of facilities, physicians and hospitals are not taking them. Mm -hmm. So they have a car that they can essentially use in addition to the millions they've lost insurance because the employers dropped it or they cannot afford the premiums. Mm -hmm. have, have you worked in uh, inner city crime uh, uh, treatment? In my residency I did. I did part of my residence in the South Bronx, but lately I've been in private practice. I'm a solo private practitioner for the last 35 years. Uh -huh. How about the issue of crime? How important is crime in, in your worldview? Well, crime is very important, but that's the issue of health care does not correlate with that. Uh, crime has access to trauma. They are taken to a trauma center. So that's a totally different separate issue in, in health care in the situation that we're facing today. We are marching towards socialized medicine. The single-payer system that is being pushed by the Democrats is basically socialized medicine. The quality of socialized medicine creates two tiers, creates the wealthy that can afford to buy health care outside the system mm -hmm. and the average person who will have to wait months for appointments, for treatments, for surgeries. Mm -hmm. Are there other issues that are pressing that you feel that you're best qualified to address for the constituents? Well, as a small business owner for 35 years, I realized that complexity, the rules and regulations that are imposed upon us that are basically running people out of practice. A lot of physicians are simply retiring, they can no longer deal with the burden of running a practice or are joining institutions and becoming like socialized medicine. What are the issues that you think the constituents are uh, concerned to have a, a better representative in Congress? Well, without any question, in our area, healthcare is a major issue. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not being addressed, uh, needs to be addressed and in a rapid fashion. Mm -hmm. The second issue is obviously the economy and jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, in our area, we have lost a lot of businesses that have left, mm -hmm. have left the area, have left California because of the tax burden, which is outrageous, mm -hmm. and because of rules and regulations that are just preventing people to progress into a, a more uh, advanced business, uh, hire more employees, it's just not worth doing and they are moving. Mm -hmm. You expressed uh, an interest in national security. How does your background in, uh, uh, in the Middle East equip you to uh, help the government and the constituents, the c citizens in issues regarding national security? So I was born in Romania during the Nazi occupation. My parents survived that, did not get deported. The communists took over, which is basically what we're looking at, wealth redistribution, uh, took our home, took everything we had, and in 1950 we managed to get out to Israel, where we lived in refugee camps, basically in tents. So I grew up in that environment as an immigrant, as a refugee, and dealt with terrorism my entire life in Israel. I uh, served in the military for three and a half years, and I see it coming here, and that worries me a lot, because I don't think we're prepared to deal with terrorism here. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're prepared to identify them. We're not working with the right people. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not allowed to work with the right people. Uh, Israel has dealt with terrorism all their lives, and I don't see that coming here as it is everywhere in the world. We will see ISIS everywhere now. 
The fact that we managed to get rid of them in the Middle East doesn't mean that they're not existent anymore. They just moved around and there are many other places, including the United States. So you're going to see increasing terrorist attacks here. Unfortunately, that's going to happen. And do you feel that you'll be strong against terror? Oh, absolutely. I've dealt with that all my life. I know what terror is and what it takes to combat it. Uh, what other issues are there that you'd like the public to be aware of? Uh, tax reform has to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, tax burden is killing us. It's killing the middle class. Uh, we're not competitive around the world. Corporations are headquarters in Ireland instead of the United States because of the corporate tax burden. Mm -hmm. That all needs to change. How can people learn more about your campaign and perhaps support you if they wish? Uh, they can go to our website. It's drbarashforcongress.com. Uh, actually, the real cut it out. Uh -huh. It's www.drbarash.com. Yeah. Okay. And Barash, B-A-R-A-S-H. Yes. Your first name is Yona, which is Y-O-N-A, uh -huh. which is uh, Hebrew for for a dove, the bird of peace. Uh, what else? I forgot what I wanted to ask you. Uh, oh yeah. When is... When is the... Oh wait. Maybe straighten your tie, please. Good. When is the election that people ought to start uh, considering and preparing for? There's a primary election in June and a general election in November next year. And how does it work uh, if you're running on the Republican ticket? Does it matter if people are registered Republican to vote for you in the primary? No. Everybody can vote in the primary in California. For any party? For any party. Uh, and will there necessarily be one Democrat and one Republican on the final runoff? No, not necessarily. The two tops go for the November election. Whoever gets the most, whether it's, it could be two Democrats? Could be two Democrats or two Republicans. So far, how many Republicans are uh, in the race? There is one more. There are two Republicans and two Democrats in the race in that district. Uh, where can people uh, learn more about, uh, are you on Twitter to, to keep uh, abreast of your news? Uh, actually, on our website, we post continuously on our website, and uh, there is a Facebook page as well. What, what